Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Satisfactory. So where we left off in our last video, uh, as you can see, we've got the blinking red lights. We have overloaded the power grid. That was uh, completely expected. I just wasn't sure exactly when. And so if you take a look in the top right hand corner, what we really need to do to fix this is to upgrade our hub for the final time. And this particular upgrade, we're almost there. Uh, I had mentioned in the last video uh, multiple times that I really didn't want to take very much out of uh, these storage containers that we were automating up here. And the reason for that is I was saving it for this upgrade. So we needed some iron plates, iron rods, we need copper wire, as well as some concrete. And that is no particular problem. So what I did is I went through and took what I needed out of these containers and we are almost ready to take care of this. So we need 500 copper wire. We just so happen to have that. And there you go. Our final hub upgrade. Now that by no means is the end of the game. Next up, we have unlocked, have unlocked uh, some new equipment. And of course she's trying to tell us about that now. But one of the big things is going to be the MAM. This is where we're gonna do research. And to start off with, let's see, do we have one on us? No, we do not. I want to go ahead and start some research. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of her. Uh, let's go ahead and bring, we really only need one right now of those alien carcass. There we go. We can click on begin analysis. And you can see here, about seven and a half minutes, it's going to take for it to get through that and learn what it's going to learn from that. And eventually it will give us um, additional upgrades. But for right now, um, it does not. Okay, we still got a little bit of wood left for uh, some biomass. I have 198 biomass on us right now. Um, however, we're going to try to keep that uh, as much as we can because here for too long, I'm going to have to do uh, a run around and just try to collect as many leaves and wood as I possibly can. So one of the things we got access to with this latest upgrade is a biomass burner. That means we can build more than the two that it's given us so far. We can put these basically wherever we want as long as we're going to connect them to the power grid. So I think what I'm going to do is put them over here somewhere. Uh, we're not going to need very many more. Uh, in this particular area and then as we start to expand out we can put some in in different areas so let's see have I been over here and cleaned out the biomass in this area who knows as much running around as I've been doing in this game sometimes it's hard to tell where you've been and where you haven't been okay looks like I've gotten most of it over in this area. So let's go ahead and put down one of those. First of all, we need to see what we need to make it. Iron plates, iron rods, well we certainly got plenty of those. Uh, we need 15 copper wire. Okay, let's see if we've got enough. Uh, do we have any copper? Yes, we do. We've got enough for plenty of wire. So I'm going to go ahead and make as much of this wire as we can because with copper wire is really the only thing we use our ingots for. Uh, that may change in the future, but for right now, that's all we really need. So we're going to go ahead and cook up quite a bit of that, at least one stack of it. And that'll get us to right about 500 in a stack. Okay, there we go, 444 of those. Now we can come back out we need biomass burner, and let's go ahead and put this one fairly close. There we go. We'll put it down right there. And now we need to take a look at how we're going to power this thing um, as far as the, the power network, the power grid. And I think we're going to need to put... Let's put a, can we put a power pole anywhere? Yeah, there we go. We put one right about there. Two out of four is all we're using on that one. So we'll go ahead and connect here to this one. 
and then we'll connect this power line to our new one. We've got plenty of biomass. Uh, let's go ahead, since I don't think anything else is out of fuel, and we should be up and working. We're going to find out here shortly. Uh, no, we are not. Okay, we need to get some more biomass for sure, because we're down to... Yep, all right, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that at all. Okay, I'll do a little bit of work. We'll be right back. Well, that didn't take too long, and you can see we're all green right now. So three of these uh, biomass burners are going to be good for right now, but uh, how long will that last? Well, the answer is not very long because we are running extremely low on biomass. So let's go ahead and make up all of the biomass we can. And you can see biomass for wood, we had a lot of that ready to go. So now we have, what, two, 374. So we'll go ahead and drop as much of this in here as we can. 200 is actually the max that you can put in at any one time. So what I'm going to do is make sure we've got as close to 200 in all three of these. And then we'll move on from here. Okay, there we go. So we still got uh, 43 biomass remaining. I'm actually going to drop that off in our storage. And then we're going to take a little field trip. All right, because I want to go down into uh, this area. Of course, for one thing, looks like we've got some biomass down here or some leaves we can collect that we will turn into biomass. All right, there we go. And then also, here in just a moment, I want to, after we've done with our little field trip, I want to take a look at uh, some other possibilities for the future. So we've looked over into this area before. This is something we've done on a few occasions as we've come out into here. But for right now, we're actually going to get a little closer look and see what's over here. Now we could use our scanner, but I, may, I want to make sure we get to kill some more of these guys over here. I only see one right here in this area. Let's go ahead and make him mad and get him coming after us. There we go. He don't like the zapper very much. All right, so right here we've got iron ore and more iron ore. And one more time, more iron ore. So this is going to be a great area for us to get miners set up and expand out. We've got a lot of area right in here. Uh, I see some leaves, so that's biomass. And we can't have enough biomass right now in the game. <laughs> it is impossible to overdose on biomass right now. I am at this point. I am really looking forward to a another source, uh, such as coal, that we can actually set up a mine for uh, in a power area, and not have to worry about doing this anymore. But for right now, we are going to have to continue doing it. All right, what else is over here? I was kind of looking to see if there were going to be any more bad guys because we're going to need them for our research and ultimately have some more defensive capabilities. Uh, here we've got limestone. Looks like we've got, is this two limestone? Yes, it is. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but it appears to be two, two limestone there. Okay, that's perfect. That's going to give us tons and tons of concrete to build with. Of course, we've already got the limestone right over here. We've got iron ore. Here are three nodes of that. So that is going to be really good. And that's just, again, very close and nearby to where we've been. We've got some nice little creatures here. We don't have any option to interact with them. And I'm not going to try to kill them right now because they're not really hurting anything. All right, collecting that biomass. All right, let's head down and see how we're doing on concrete production because that's going to be uh, quite necessary as we move forward. Uh, you can see we got 40 in there. We got 60 on us right now. Uh, let's go ahead and pick that up. We'll make that 100. And then we'll drop off the remainder in there. Have a nice even stack. Okay, so is this anything? No, it does not appear to be anything 
that we can mine. But yes, I'm loving all of this area. Now we're going to have to be careful when we get over close to these uh, weird tower looking structures because uh, they are poisonous to us. So we'll have to stay away from those. But other than that, we got lots of room out here uh, to expand. So now with that in mind, uh, and of course, ultimately we're going to do some building so that we can have platforms and ramps to get up here instead of having to take this particular route. But let's head back up top. And it looks like everything is is going. We're going to need to do some refactoring uh, here before too long once we get access to some additional technologies. And the reason is, right now, let's actually, well, if I can get up here, all of this iron ore that's coming in, if we look in storage, it's actually starting to fill up the storage a little bit. What I believe would be optimum for us is to have two smelters for each storage container, or we could just eliminate the storage container and go straight from the conveyor belt into a splitter and then go from there into our two smelters. I think that would be a, a better option. But again, time will tell. And if that happens, then obviously it's going to get a lot more crowded in here and we're going to need to spread things out uh, quite a bit more. But you can see here, it, we're not flowing consistently. So I would rather uh, try to push the envelope a little bit on that part and, and get us a little bit more production if we can. All right, now let's head over and see what's next on the upgrades. So if we take a look now, we're done with tier zero. That was our final upgrade as far as the look of our hub, at least for now. Now we've got tier one and tier two upgrades. If we look under utility, uh, there's one that I am very interested in, and that is the biofuel. Again, we're running around collecting biomass, and you notice that biofuel says it is the most energy efficient form of biomass. So what will happen there is we'll be able to go into the crafting bench now where we can craft biomass for wood or leaves. In the future, we'll add biofuel in there and we'll be able to convert it over to that. And that will make it a little bit easier on us and not have to collect so much of this biomass all the time. Okay, if we go logistics, we get our splitter and our merger. That's where we want to be right now. I want to get that. So let's select that milestone. And for that, we need 200 plates, 200 rods, and 500 wire. Actually, we're almost there on the wire as it is. But let's go ahead and head back up again. In the future, we're going to do some, some more building. Uh, but right now, I'm really just trying to get a feel for where we need to go with this. All right, let's go ahead and just grab everything out of these that we can. All right, that should be perfect. That should be more than enough to get done what we need. The beauties of automation. And then we'll start to uh, expand our facilities out beyond where we are now. All right, let's go ahead and drop all of these in here that we've got. Uh, that will certainly take care of the copper. We need just a little bit more of uh, the iron. So I tell you what, uh, let's see, do we still have any iron on us? We do not, no. Uh, but we do have a little bit of cable that we need to create. So we're going to come back up. And we're actually going to grab a little bit of this iron ore. And we're going to try to make uh, some on our own. All right, so I've crafted up uh, some more of the ingots, which I've then turned into the plates and the rods that we need. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. And there you go. Now this one says, instead of upgrade, it says launch pod. So I'm gonna hit this and we're, we're gonna immediately run as fast as we can out to the side so that we can see this launch. All right, so we hit the button. All right, can we get out here? Yes, we can. And so now you can see this thing is actually going to launch into space. All right, so it's trying to get its bearings, get, 
get everything leveled out, and then it's off. So up into space, and it's going to bring back what we need for our conveyor belt splitter and joiner. All right, so that will be back if we check on our upgrade station, our hub terminal. You can see it's going to be back in about two and a half minutes. So we're in good shape. We got a little bit of time uh, before that comes back. But if we come in and look at our milestone, so what is it that we're going to get? We're going to get a pro productivity display, which is going to show us the efficiency of each building. That's going to be awesome. Our splitter, as well as our merger. So what do we want to look at uh, next? Next, I'm thinking biofuel. Uh, we've also got personal storage. Not really too concerned about that. I can see reasons to have the personal storage box around, but basically I'm not terribly worried about that. Conveyor walls. This is going to be great once we start getting into multi-level uh, facilities. And then, of course, you got your staircases and so on. So that's going to be really good. But I think next up is going to be the utility. So let's go ahead and drop that one out there. Again, 150 iron plates, 150 iron rods, and 500 of the copper. So I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. So what I want to do now is we're actually going to branch off a little bit. Now there's a, a ton of different ways you can do this, but I really want to get down here and start working in this area. That will give us two separate facilities where we're working with iron. So before we jump down there, we've got plenty of wire. Um, I think we've got enough cable. I might make a few more of those. We've got a few screws. Uh, a few rods. Let's go ahead and make a few more of these if we have the iron on us. Yes, it looks like we do. So we'll make a few more of those and then we'll finish the rest of our iron ingots off with some plates. We're going to make a few more cables. Get us up to about 30 right there. We've still got tons and tons of concrete. And of course, it's making even more down here. So let's head down to the bottom. And tons of great resources down here to continue our journey. So what I think I'm going to do down here is, first and foremost, we're going to get up and running with some more iron production. But then along the way, I actually want to add uh, some more crafting facilities for me as we need to manually craft things and, of course, uh, build any of the machines that we have to do uh, manually. Okay, that exchange, it's actually landed. You can see it's just come back down. So now we should be able to, to build the, yep, there they are, the splitter and the merger. Okay, that's going to be awesome. And that's something we're going to be testing out uh, pretty shortly. So let's go ahead and get rid of this above ground chunk of iron ore. And then as we get rid of it, we're going to try to uh, get started with some iron work. Okay, I, that caught my attention. I could have sworn I saw another one of those bad guys, uh, one of the fairy tale uh, creatures over there. That name will make a little bit more sense uh, in a little bit. But I could have sworn I saw one of those moving. I guess I'm getting a little bit paranoid since I can't really hear a whole lot going on in the game world, and I know that they're out and about. So let's see if we can set up some production. Uh, what all do we need? Oh, that's right. We need portable miners in order to do this. Otherwise, we're in good shape. So before we can do that, let's come back to, uh, let's see, we're going to need a crafting bench. Let's go ahead and set one of those up. And I think we'll just put it right about there. And then we'll see workshop. Yes, we have what we need for the workshop. And I think I'm just going to sort of run this thing in here just off to the side no foundations or anything I might come back a little bit later and put foundations but for right now we're trying to get to a certain spot all right portable miners yes let's just go ahead and make all four of these and then we'll go get some more materials and and we'll be on about our business Okay, we've also have access to beacons, which we don't really need right now. Uh, let's see, do we have enough to make? Yes, we do. All right, let's put down our first miner, 
And let's see. So we've got a lot of area out here. Uh, let's go. Do we want to go straight out there? I'm thinking I do. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. All right, let's go ahead and while we're here, let's get rid of this above ground iron ore. Let's see if we can set down a second miner. Now the question is, do we want it to go the same direction? Um, I don't think so, but I'm not real sure uh, to be quite honest with you. So we're just gonna leave it straight for now. And do we have enough for one more? We do. So we'll go ahead and get this part of it set up. And then of course we've got a lot to, to do with regards to setting up power, power grids, and all sorts of stuff. But one step at a time. Trying to keep an eye out for the bad guys. Minor. Um, and this one, we're going to have to adjust it a little bit because we can't go straight ahead. So we'll put it at a little bit of an angle there. And then, of course, with these conveyor belts, we can always twist them around and do a lot of different things with them. Um, also, I want to see what we're going to need for another biomass burner. Okay, we're going to need some more iron plates. And then I'm sure for basically everything we're going to make, we're going to need iron plates and iron rods. Okay, so we're in good shape. I'm liking this quite a bit. Interesting little creatures. All right, so I see green up here, so I haven't overloaded uh, any more, I don't believe. And then, of course, we've got another upgrade that we're going to want to do, uh, which is going to take us to our most efficient version of the biomass, which is something I'm very much looking forward to. Everything humming right along. And let's see what we've got going. So we're gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up a half stack out of there. That'll give us over 400. Uh, that should be fine. We'll pick up the 100. And 100 there. All right, I like it. All right, so now we are our first branch off is really going rather well. Uh, let's see. Now for a biomass burner, we've got plenty of resources for it. Uh, and of course, foundations, we've got tons and tons and tons of, of concrete and ramps for that. So that should not be uh, an issue. How many concrete do we have? 85 remaining. Okay. Of course, we'll need some of that for uh, the power poles. Let's see, smelters, we should have plenty for what we need there. Iron rods, as well as copper wire. Uh, constructor, ooh, that's what's going to get us. Okay, so for the constructor, uh, we're going to need some cabling. And I'm going to go ahead and make, uh, we'll make about 40 of those. And uh, you can see we've got one portable miner left. Uh, and that's because we have at least one more area uh, that we can mine down there. And let's see, let's go ahead and craft up all of the biomass we can because we'll be running out and we'll be back to no power <laughs> fairly shortly. Okay, so we got that. Then we need reinforced plates. Uh, okay, which means we need more screws. All right, no problem. We'll get some more screws. And I'll tell you what, let's get enough for six. Because I think it was three each in the buildings that we're going to need. Let's take a quick look. And yes, it was three. So this will get us two constructors down, uh, which will be very nice. That'll get us started. And I think other than that, we're looking pretty good. Uh, we've got enough to make some more ingots manually as we need to. So let's go ahead and head down in that direction. So the foundations are basically uh, for aesthetics at this point and not something I'm terribly worried about. Uh, we're going to put some down just because uh, it'll make things look neater, but I'm certainly not opposed to building without them. 
All right, let's go ahead and try to get this. All right, we'll start about right there. Okay, we'll go as far as we can in that direction. So this is gonna be our first opportunity to really set up um, a different way of doing this. And we'll see how well it works out. And I really like uh, the building in this game. It is very lenient, shall we say, on allowing you to place things. And it's also really good at how it's joining them together. So I really like that. All right, so we're gonna come straight out of there. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need a, a splitter. Uh, let's see, what do we have? The splitter, we need to turn. Okay, why can't I turn this around? Are we not allowed to turn this thing around? Rotate. Uh, for some reason, it's not allowing me to rotate this. Oh, it has to be. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I, I'm glad that we had some area around here because I cannot rotate this thing unless it is on uh, the ground instead of one of these. Yikes. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, again, we're going to try to space things out. We're going to have some fun with this thing. Uh, we can always come back a little bit later, uh, but that's a little bit more spaced out than I wanted it to be. So let's go ahead, do the splitter again. And okay, it's facing the right direction. Is that straight? Yes, it does appear to be. So we've got everything matched up, at least as best I can tell. There we go. So then what we'll do is we'll have these guys come out and it looks like we've got a total of three of these that we can use. So I really like that. I like that quite a bit. All right, so let's go straight into uh, smelting. And let's see, let's, we need to spin this thing around. Now, it did let me spin that one around. Okay, I think that one's going to be in good position. If not, we'll change it around. So one of the splitters is going to go that way. Then we're going to come over to the other side, another smelter. And so this is going to be our first opportunity to really test um, and see what kind of efficiency we're going to get with this type of a setup. And if it works out great, then we'll do the same thing uh, over in our other area. But if not, then we're certainly not going to worry too much about it. We'll simply change things around. So we've got another one, a, a room for another one right here. Um, I don't think we're actually going to need that based on uh, the miners and how they work and how much they output per minute and, and all of that kind of thing. I don't think we're actually going to need it. So let's go ahead and set these guys up for iron. And as they're coming out of that, so let's, let's see, one more time, 30 per minute is what we're doing there. Uh, if I come in under constructors, all right, let's put that one right there. Since we are, we're leaving out the storage in between these right now. And for this one, let's go iron plates. Uh, and it says 15 per minute. Okay, so that might uh, hinder us a little bit. We might need extra constructors for this. We'll see. But for right now, let's go ahead and put down our other uh, constructor. Let's see, is that about right? Uh, it looks pretty good. So maybe a bit too far over if we're being picky, but it's basically straight in, so we'll just deal with it from there. All right, I'm liking this setup. Let's go ahead and configure this one also for iron plates. And yeah, 15 per minute. Very interesting. We'll see how all of that works through. Uh, now I think we're ready for uh, some poles. Oh wait, we need storage out here at the end. 
Let's go ahead and something I've been meaning to do and it just dawned on me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start filling up this, this hot bar at the very bottom of the screen with a few more things. So we're going to put this particular foundation at number five and then a ramp at, uh, I tell you what, we're going to hold off on the ramp for right now. And that way I can just quickly hit some of these keys. And okay, so that puts us out of concrete. No problem. We know where we can get a lot more of that. And we want organization and storage container. And do we have what we need? Yes, we do for a storage container. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and line this thing up. All right, that turned out really well. We had enough concrete to do what we needed to do. All right, and uh, another storage. Uh, actually, let's go get some more concrete real quick. This game is so much fun uh, in here. I mean, the visuals are great. Particularly, I enjoy being able to see the products moving along the uh, the conveyor belts. I really like that. All right, we'll just grab 100 because we're kind of low on uh, storage space. So we'll grab that and we'll head over here and see if we can expand this some. Wait, we need this biomass. <laughs> so for, before we put down any foundations, we want to come out there. We're also going to pick up those healing potions. And let's see, we are at number five. And why can't we do that? There we go. All right, so that should be perfect. Storage container once again. And I like it. So right now everything is being lined up nice and neat. For the most part, everything looks real nice, but uh, I'm telling you in the future, I have visions of multi-level factories. Once we we get a better handle on how all of this is going to work out. Okay, now let's come back up to power. Do we have enough for a burner? Yes, we do. All right, where do we want our power area uh, to be? We've got plenty of area out here. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I want it over there. Oh, there's a couple more bad guys over there. We will need to go over there and exterminate those. Tell you what, I think I'm going to put them... I think I'm going to put it over here. Uh, but first, we need to go have a little fun. And let's see if we can take care of two of these guys. I'm certainly hoping the answer to that is yes. All right, so here they come. I'm just going to work my way backwards. All right, we popped him a couple of times there. There we go. So he's done. We'll get this guy headed toward us. And all right, he's getting ready to charge. Come on, big guy. All right, we got him too. Let's go ahead and pick up our healing uh, nuts over here. So a lot of, again, a lot of open area over in this direction as well. And I think this area will work rather well uh, for some more of our power generation. And then we can simply run uh, the cabling out wherever we need to. There we go. And let's see, let's... First one we'll put down right there. Do we have enough for another one? Uh, indeed we do. There we go, so two should be enough for right now anyway. As always, we'll figure it out. And all right, we should have enough for power poles. Uh, I'm actually going to put a power pole there and let's connect this one right over here and then I'm going to put another power pole right there and that'll be our first power pole that we'll actually use for the generators now for now what I'm doing is I'm actually going to connect it up to our uh, existing power grid you don't have to uh, you could make separate power grids. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. 
because all you really need is to connect it to a generator and you're good to go. Now we don't want to turn the power on uh, just yet. I'm going to put a power pole right over there and let's see if we can make it reach. Maybe. There we go. All right, so we're full on that particular power pole. Um, actually, and based on that, nope, let's, let's redo that. All right, yep, uh, we're, our power just went out, and I'm guessing that's because we run out of biomass, quite frankly. That would be my, my guess at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to put one right here because I'm going to need a power pole for additional generators uh, as time goes on. So now let's connect these up. There we go. All right, excellent. Again, really looking forward to the time in the game when I don't have to run around and do this uh, and we can just have a sustainable source but for right now we got what we got so let's go ahead and put down another power pole we're gonna do that back here there we go and then another power pole let's see where do we want to go let's do uh, let's see yeah let's go ahead and put one right there All right, then we'll branch over a little bit more. There we go. So now what we're gonna need is a couple more power poles in uh, this area. So what I'm gonna do, because that power pole uh, could power a couple a couple more but I don't think I want it to right now I think what I want it to do is just sort of be a uh, let's put down a foundation here there we go let's put down a foundation pick up those leaves yes please and we'll use it for its uh, connections There we go, and then we'll put another one uh, right here in the center somewhere for now. It's kind of fun to place all these things down, even when you don't necessarily need all of them. Now we'll get everything wired up. And let's see, this one's still got two remaining. Uh, actually, we can use those. We'll just use them for these two and uh, we don't need to power the splitter I don't think I don't see a receptacle on there we might find out differently here very shortly all right so let's go and craft up some more biomass uh, this is actually giving me reason to think I might not want to connect to our existing power grid with these uh, just to keep them separate so when we come back next time, that might be exactly what I have done. So I believe this is a great stopping point uh, for now. i got to work on some on our power situation. I'm going to run around, grab some more uh, biomass, and then we'll work on our very next milestone, which is the utility. And that's going to give us access to uh, some additional uh, items that are really going to help us out in the future, particularly the biofuel. So thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we will continue our adventure in Satisfactory.